Rebecca Shostal, DTI Academy Manager at Digital Thinker. Most companies track employee trainings and certifications. For example, a forklift operator may need to complete annual training to comply with OSHA regulations, and you may require a certified welder to perform certain maintenance activities. These trainings and certifications can be tracked in Hexagon EAM. From the work menu, navigate to Setup, then Qualifications. On the Qualifications screen, you can establish a set of occupational standards and job-related trainings. I have a few qualifications set up. Here is one for HAZMAT training, indicated by the Training Record checkbox. You may be required to track HAZMAT training to comply with the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act. Here is another qualification. This could be used to track employees that have obtained their North American HVAC certification. Once qualifications have been identified, they can be associated with employees, trades, work order activities, and task plans. Let's take a look at an employee. You will see this employee has an active EETC electrical systems qualification. Now there is an install parameter to be aware of. The WOQUAL install parameter acts as a qualification enforcement when scheduling work orders in Hexagon EAM. If enabled, you can only schedule an employee to a work order activity who has a necessary qualification to perform the work for which a qualification is required. Please note this enforcement is ignored for training record. So if we take a look at a work order, if I am scheduling my electrician activity, you will notice that the list of employees that I can select from is limited to those employees that have an active qualification. Now, if I were scheduling to my general maintenance activity that does not have a required qualification, you will see that my employee list is much longer. Also, if you decide to track employee trainings and certifications in Hexagon EAM, be sure to review the two base qualification reports. These are available from the work menu under reports, then qualifications. The qualification expiration report displays a list of qualification expirations and dates for an employee based on the date range entered. And the qualification requirement report displays a list of qualifications that are required for an employee to perform a trade or task for which they are not currently qualified. Now, I hope you found this quick overview on qualifications helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Thank you.